Previously on Mindcrack Ultra Hardcore. We could shoot at him if they wasn't all those mobs in that ravine right there. Yeah, environment and players at the same time. Or... If you can, if you can get a clear shot at him, Milby, then take it. But actually, yeah, I yeah, get I'm above these the mobs. Don't screw around with the, the. I have a lot oh, of buckets. That's, that's, that's the end of this. Oh, 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 oh boy! Right Excitement and adventure. In. We'll see you again soon. Guys, they're coming in. Oh, are they? Yeah. I've yeah, got a lava bucket. Bombs. I could try there to jump go. on them if they Ooh. get below us. They're like, I saw pause uh, by here. Okay, so... Alright, basically, I'm trying to see if I can make a safe escape route yeah, uh, so that we can get past these problem. mobs. You guys keep eyes on them to know where they are. Yeah, okay. These little hole he's looking at me for. And all the, t all the time that we're in this engagement, we're kind of basically neither team is making progress while the other teams are. <clears throat> and so if we can either... Yeah. Come, come this way. Come this way. I, I'm kind of... I can get paused. Like, oh, I see pause. Yeah, pause is getting close. If you can hit him, then hit him. I'm trying. I'm, I'm sort of like holding... Oh, oh right, feet into like this like right above my head. head. I was trying to get right. to the mobs well, that were on the other side of the wall, but it seems like they're getting really close over here. <clears throat> oh, here they come. Here they come. <laughs> Yeah, they got it. They, they can't do this. Oh, there they are. Go, go. If you got... Uh... Okay, I, I, I lava bucketed myself. Darn it. All right, but I lava I bucketed one of them. Nice. I got, Good job. I got BR. I got killed. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Pause killed us all. <laughs> How sad. <sighs> I got one. I'm so happy. <laughs> I got one. What did you kill? I got beef. You got beef. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sucks. Um, yeah, that was my fault entirely. I <laughs> I went out I went out and looked for um, a village and it's unlucky to run into another team. Like, it just could have turned out the other way. You would have found well, a village and be a hero. And so there's risk either side. Yeah. Well, I went looking for a village, and I couldn't... Um, um, I couldn't... Well, obviously, I didn't find a village. But at the same time... I'm going like, to leave the server, of, but I'm going to... So, and I led them right back to us. So that was definitely my fault on that one, so... Well, I think we, yeah, I think we at least tried to do the right things in terms of crafting our bow and uh, trying to get into a position that we could defend ourselves. But yeah, we were already down on hearts. Well, I imagine relative to them. I didn't see what kind of hearts they were starting at. Paul was actually had loads of less health than all of us. Man, I, I don't think I got a, I swang well, at pause with my I sword, but I don't I think didn't, I got I didn't have my single sword out when I landed next to him somehow. Oh, so frustrating. And I threw a lava bucket down at Paws' feet, but it was next to water and immediately turned to obsidian, and so I didn't get a chance to lava bucket. Yeah. Well, just a, a string I, of unfortunate events, apparently. So, no biggie. I still jump myself, because I kill beef. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Well, that'll always all right. be fun to see That's from other people's perspectives. Thank yeah, thanks for playing, guys. Beef. I'm glad I got a chance to play, even if, even if I didn't fare all that well. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. You are now listening to Post Commentary by Brian. I'm recording this on the 23rd, after the first two episodes have already aired, and the footage that you're watching is just some mock-up footage that I created in order to not have YouTube thumbnails or whatever try to spoil or give away anything. So this is just some fake footage that's here on the screen, but now we have a chance to chat.
To those fans from the Ultra Hardcore subreddit, I'll address you guys more directly in a moment. But first, let me just give some general thoughts about the match. Overall, I think our team was not quite prepared for a battle that early. And in retrospect, that was definitely a mistake. A 2000 by 2000 map isn't that large to begin with, but with the shrinking borders, and now that I've had a chance to watch other teams and see that in the first two episodes, other teams were already encountering the borders and moving in, it's already down to like 1500 by 1500 or something, which for eight three-man teams is getting pretty small. And so there's likely to be encounters already. And so I think if I thought about that beforehand, maybe we would have tried to craft the bow and the arrows a little bit more urgently and maybe tried to limit our exploration a little bit more. I don't know. But in any case, uh, when, you know, <laughs> the battle kind of came to us, we weren't quite sure what to do. The three of us obviously haven't played together in a UHC. I've never had a chance to play with these guys before, and I don't know that I've seen many BTC Milby interactions in the past before either. And so while I do think in the first couple of episodes we really got a chance to get a feel for each other, and despite the fact that we run the gamut in terms of kind of personalities and strategies when it comes to the game. I felt like we were kind of meshing together pretty well, and so I hope it created entertaining footage for everybody to watch regardless, uh, and I definitely had a good time. But yeah, you could definitely tell we were kind of like getting panicked and didn't know what to do. I was trying to give ourselves two options, basically trying to escape out the back into a cave full of mobs or fight them head on. And yeah, I don't know why I was really trying to think that through, because if I thought about it, once pause attacks, pause is unlikely to quit attacking, and it's really unlucky that it happened to turn out to be pause, um, because he's a beast at PvP, as we all know, and is fearless even when he's down on hearts. And let's see, in terms of the details of the battle as well, I, I had some good things and some bad things. So first off, I'm not any good at PvP. Um... And yeah, we'll come back to that again a bit later anyway. Um, yeah, so I was happy that I managed to deal any damage to any players. Basically, when I saw... I wasn't sure who it was. It turned out to be Beef. Uh, when I saw a player kind of going through, I was like, okay, I've got a lava bucket. Let me just cut through here and see if I can do some damage. Sadly, I set myself on fire. I think I did uh, somewhere between one and a half to two and a half hearts of damage to myself with my own lava bucket. Um, but I think I managed to deal more damage to beef, and so I'll definitely be interested when episode 3 airs to see exactly how that kind of went down. But that definitely helped weaken him. Milby was then able to finish beef off with the bow and arrow, which was fantastic. Um, I went ahead, I attacked beef with the lava bucket while I was still on fire, just because I saw an opportunity. And being on fire is kind of bad, but being in lava is really, really bad. And so if I had an opportunity to get him in lava, I definitely wanted to take it. And I immediately put myself out afterwards with the water bucket. And I even picked the water bucket back up. Somehow it ends up that there's another water source uh, kind of next to where I'm standing. And so I'm really going to be curious to look forward to the next episode and watch other perspectives to find out where that water source comes in. Because basically once Pause kind of enters the room, we both kind of rush at each other and are swinging our swords. And at first, neither of us are landing any hits. And it's because we're both getting pushed by the water and can't quite get close enough to one another. Pause finally lands some hits and I figure, okay, with the water source here, I'm not going to be able to press against it with my sword. And so I switch to the lava bucket and I actually got a pretty good placement, except for the fact that it was right next to the water and immediately turned to obsidian. And so if the water bucket hadn't been there, I really think I had a good chance of killing Paws, either with the sword or with the lava bucket. Unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. Um, Paws gets the triple kill. He continues to rack up the PvP kills and Ultra Hardcore. Um, yeah, my hat's off to Paws. And I'm also really looking forward to Paws' commentary because I expect he's going to be super excited and also kind of laughing about it. Um, and so I think that'll be great to watch. Um, yeah, and in general, like, I encourage you guys to watch everybody's perspectives. I actually really like the format of this, this UHC, both from the perspective of Eternal Day and the Shrinking World Borders. Um, I got kind of bored watching the last couple of UHCs that Minecraft did, mostly because they were kind of dragging on and people were staying underground and not advancing at night. And... Uh, I can safely, without giving away any spoilers, say that just the format is going to mean that there's going to be more action and excitement and you won't have to wait for three or four episodes of everybody being underground, uh, I don't think, anywhere in this series. And so definitely keep on watching if you enjoy this kind of thing.
Let's see. To the folks from the Ultra Hardcore subreddit, where I used to play a lot of matches back in the day, probably like more than a year ago. Um, it was very nice to have all of your support. I was glad so many people were rooting for me. And if you expected any other outcome, then what were you thinking? <laughs> I've never been good at PvP. Uh, I have mostly been bad at PvP, and occasionally when I was at the top of my game and practicing Ultra Hardcore all the time, I was like mediocre to passing at best. Um, I probably played in like 100 UHC matches. I probably aired like 30 to 40 of them. The 60 or 70 that I didn't air were all ones where I died without ever getting a single kill, otherwise I would have aired it. And the rest of them, like most of the ones that I do air, like I don't get any kills. The ones where I do do well typically are because I have really good teammates who are carrying me along. And yeah, I've never been any good at PvP. And so you had to expect that the moment Brian gets into a PvP encounter, he's going to immediately lose. And, um, yeah, that's what I expected. But I was happy with my play up until then. Even though it was short, I was actually kind of really happy with kind of like how the season turns out for me from the point of view of uh, just the entertainment of the series. Like, an early conflict, like, and it, perfect timing. Episode 2 ends as Milby says, they're coming in! Like, it's like the perfect cl cliffhanger. Um, so I was really happy about that. And... Yeah, and so definitely, like, I would have liked to have done better. I definitely am naturally competitive. Um, and, yeah, I'm more on the, you know, BTC side than the Milby side in terms of being, you know, uh, competitive as opposed to laid back in terms of the UHC stuff. But at the same time, like, I don't know. It was just fun to get a chance to participate. And, um, yeah, I think it'll turn out to be entertaining for the viewers. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, thank you again to all of my usual fans and all the people from ultra hardcore that i haven't seen in a while uh who are giving kind of extra support and yeah i hope that you guys continue to enjoy that and that subreddit continues to go on because yeah people have a lot of fun with that let's see are there other things i want to talk about I hope that people like the intros that I did on episode two and episode three. For episode two, I basically stole Kurt's format because I really love it, where it's like previously on ultra hardcore. And then you have like some little segments of the most interesting bits that help the viewer remember what happened in the last episode to get things going. But I realized after I recorded the episode two, it was all BTC and Brian talking and we didn't have any Milby. And Milby had some really funny bits that people were really enjoying as I was reading comments on the subreddit and on different people's videos and different things and so i decided to go a completely different way for the preview of this video for episode three where i basically kind of set the stage with the previously on ultra hardcore and then completely turned to 180 and i actually i was trying to see i have a friend who does some minecraft render animation kind of stuff and wanted to see if i could get like a beautiful you know animated render of like milby going through a field with like shaders and lens flare and all that kind of stuff um and sadly i couldn't get that done and so i just tried to record it myself um by changing a skin and going into f5 mode and it didn't come out as good as i wanted it but hopefully you guys got the joke that um yeah, it was like, things were all serious and tense last episode, and then my flashback is just like, all the fun things that Milby was doing. Um, and yeah, so I got a kick out of that. I hope that uh, it seems like a bunch of people, uh, especially who are Milby fans in general or whatever, got a kick out of his antics as well. Um, and yeah, and some people probably don't. And yeah, you can't please everybody. That's definitely the case, especially with a big audience and a big event like this. Um, but yes, I wanted to have some balance. And with the few episodes that I had, I decided with my two intros, I was going to go with two different ways. So I hope people enjoyed that. Um, I guess if you're still here listening to the sound of my voice, uh, thank you. If you're relatively new to the channel and you want to stick around, uh, by all means, check out my main channel page. There are many, many playlists. I've been doing mostly Minecraft YouTube videos for three years. I have lots of stuff in a lot of different genres and different things. I've got a best of playlist on my front page that you can check out. I also play some other games like Rogue Legacy and Terraria and Spelunky. And so if you enjoy any of those, check that out. If you discover that you like any of my videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, but I'm just happy that you stopped by. Uh, I hope that you guys continue to enjoy a Minecraft UHC. I'm going to go ahead and quit talking for now and wish you guys a good day and wish everybody who remains in the UHC match good luck. Bye-bye.